Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got three hacks to help you build a bigger back. Now if you missed the last few videos in this series, I'll post a playlist link right here. But for these hacks, they're what I call sequential hacks, meaning that if you truly want to maximize your gains on all your back exercises, then you need to master each one of these hacks in the order I am going to teach them. But before we get started, be sure to subscribe and then pick up your finger and put it down on that like button because that's the only way to support my channel and ensure the videos keep coming. Hack number one, mind your shoulder blades. Guys, if you can't remember to retract your shoulder blades when doing back exercises, especially on horizontal pulling movements like bent over rows or seated cable rows, then you're leaving a lot on the table. This is because when you retract and squeeze your shoulder blades together when training, you're activating your rhomboids, traps, and lats to generate the maximum amount of power to help you pull the most amount of weight. Also, when you fail to retract your shoulder blades, you will instinctively stop pulling the weight more with your arms instead of your back, which brings us to hack number two. So what is hack number two? Well, it's stop pulling with your arms. You see, when you fail to squeeze and retract your shoulders, you end up activating more biceps, forearms, and rear delts. So if you've never really felt your back during your back workouts, this is most likely the reason why. Also guys, believe it or not, if your mind-muscle connection isn't the greatest with your back muscles, you'll also instinctively pull more with your arms when using a traditional grip with your thumb wrapped around the bar. So to help you disengage your biceps and forearms as much as possible, I want you to try this trick. Whether you're doing a pull-up, barbell row, dumbbell row, or cable row, I want you to grip the bar with your thumb on the same side as your fingers, effectively creating a hook with your hands. This one little change will be enough to mentally break through your block of not understanding what it means to pull with your back. Then once your grip is set, focus on pulling back with your elbows. The goal is to drive them behind your back as far as you can while simultaneously retracting your shoulder blades. Just make sure you lower the weight before you try this technique, and if you have them, you can also use some wrist wraps. When I train, I like to use easy grips by Ironbolt Strength. They're super quick to put on and very comfortable on the wrist when you start lifting heavier weights. Click the link in my pinned comment below if you want to pick up a pair and use my code MS10 for 10% off the entire Iron Bull Strength site. They actually just started selling dumbbells and bumper plates as well, so check those out too. And the third and final hack is to learn when to respect and disregard proper form. Now, it should go without saying that if you're a beginner or learning a new exercise, your focus needs to 100% be on proper form, and by proper, I mean a controlled concentric and eccentric phase. But as your muscles and tendons get stronger, you're going to want to push yourselves a bit harder, and with back exercises, we can introduce cheat reps to help you overload your sets with more weight. For example, when doing a bent over row, you can use a belt and a bit of momentum to skip through the concentric phase and focus on a controlled negative with much heavier weight. The same goes for a lat pull down and pull ups. Use momentum to push through the concentric phase and then control the negative. This is important to learn because you will always be about 40% stronger in the eccentric phase of an exercise. So theoretically, you will never be able to concentrically pull your max load. But you can implement cheat reps a few different ways. Let's say you're doing sets of eight to 10 repetitions. If you get stuck on rep six, you can utilize this technique to push through those last two to four reps safely. But for those of you who are a bit more advanced, you can adopt the training style of my Cheat and Recover program, where each set consists of eight cheat reps, followed by eight reps of proper form. Remember guys, the muscles in your back are big and strong and respond very well to explosive movements such as T-bar rows, barbell rows, and pull-ups. So it should go without saying that if you're stuck in a muscle building plateau, it's most likely because you need to push harder on your reps, and these three hacks will turn your current back training on its head. I guarantee it. If you want to try my Cheat and Recover 12-week training program that will show you how to master cheat reps on every exercise for every body part, not just the back, then click this link right here, and if you're looking for more training tips to binge on, click this playlist right here. And as always, more good stuff coming soon. See you guys.